Now welcome to this new video. I'm Sergio, Computer Vision Consultant, Developer and Course Instructor, and I help companies, freelancers, and students to easily and efficiently build Computer Vision software. We're going to start today a new video series called Computer Vision with Keras. The idea with this series is to uh, use Keras as a tool to build Computer Vision algorithms to dive deeper into convolutional neural networks. Everything that is related to deep learning and computer vision will be built in this video series. I decided to use Keras because it's one of the easiest and most intuitive uh, API to build convolutional neural networks with uh, Python. Uh, I have some experience with PyTorch. I used also TensorFlow in the past, but Keras is just, for me, the way to go when you want to build uh, algorithms or computer vision models in the fastest way because with a few lines you get straight to the point to what you want to uh, achieve. Now in this first video we are going mostly just to see the installation so we will see from the basic uh, how to create the best environment to easily work uh, later with Keras and computer vision. We will install PyCharm which is for me the best idol easy to use so just update uh, update the libraries and just to create new projects so PyCharm for me is the way to go second we will install the right version of Python and then we'll install Keras with OpenCV if you're ready let's go we will start first installing PyCharm by the way all the links that I'm using right here will be on a blog post so for each video I'm going to click a blog post so that you can uh, easily follow everything and just click the links right there to install everything that I'm using. PyCharm is a software and idol that we will use to write our Python code. You don't need PyCharm. I mean, you can use whatever idol you have if you prefer to use uh, others. I use PyCharm. I, I recommend to do the same if you're following this series. It's for free. We have Community Edition, which is for free, available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So whatever software, you, whatever OS system you have, don't worry, just download it and you are ready to go and follow everything I'm doing. Uh, we download PyCharm Community Edition. We save this and we go with the installation. Uh, once the download is finished, we click the installer. We proceed now with the installation. We say yes. So welcome to PyCharm Community Edition Setup. We say next. Select PyCharm version that you want to install. Of course, uh, I have already a PyCharm version. So you, if you don't have PyCharm, it will not show this. Uh, we just say next. Where do we want to install this? Uh, you can leave like the default one. And I'm going to do the same. We say next. Next next and we wait for the installation to be completed uh, at this point we click finish and the installation is done after pycharm we want to have python uh, you most likely have already python on your computer but anyway i recommend to download this again because we will use a different version so different versions might behave uh, in a different way we're going to the version 3.9.13. I'm going to put the link below in the description on the blog post. Uh, so let's download Windows installer, or if you have Ubuntu or Mac OS, just download Python 3.9.13 for your OS system. Once Python is downloaded, we go with the Python installation. Uh, in my case, it's just saying I have already Python so I'm going to up upgrade the version 3.9. Uh, you might see just install, but just uh, go further with the standard settings that you see uh, right here in the Python uh, setups. There is not much to do with Python installation. It's uh, very easy and straightforward. Just most likely you have to click next all the time until finish. And the installation is finished when we see setup was successful. Uh, now, we have PyCharm, we have Python. We can now create our first project and install the libraries only with our first project. So let's now look for PyCharm on our search bar. So we have PyCharm Community Edition. We run this one right here. 
Uh, you will be asked to create a new project on your first run. I had already PyCharm before, so now it's it runs with the, my latest project, but you will be asked if you want to create a new project or load some projects. So let's create a new project. So you click on new project. I do the same. And now we can choose our project location. You will have some location by default. And here after the latest slash, we can choose the name of our project. So you can call this whatever you want. I will say computer vision Keras. Oh. This is the name of the project. For the project, we can choose the specific Python version that we are going to use. Uh, we will be using the one that we just installed we by creating a virtual environment. This means that each specific project will have the Python version. So no matter if you install what libraries you are going to install in this specific project, they will not uh, be mixed with libraries of another project. So to keep things very organized and clean, this is the way to go. So Python interpreter, we choose new environment using virtual env starting from the base. So starting from the Python 3.9 we installed. So you're going to find the different versions of Python that you have on your computer right here. I'm going to pick the 3.9, which is the one that we are going to use and we leave everything as it is right here. So inherit global site packages, we will say no because we want a clean version. So we're not going to inherit anything. Make this available to all projects. If you want, you can do that. So we can just click here. It doesn't really matter. We, we want this for this project and then Let's now go and create on this window. So now we have our first project on PyCharm. Now it's creating our virtual environment. What it means, it means that it's making a copy of Python 3.9 into this folder so that all the libraries that we installed in this folder will just stay here. And when we use Python 3.9 with other projects, it will be clean as we first installed that. So let's wait for the virtual environment to be completed. Uh, this is how our, uh, our project will appear. We have on the right side, we will have uh, the, we can write our code. And on the left side, we have our project structure. So we have our folder and different files that we will be using uh, right there. Uh, I, was, I forgot the, like the word, it was like we have the editor to write the code on the right side, while on the left we have the project structure. Let's now create a file. New, so we select with the right button of the mouse, mouse on computer vision keras, we say new, and then Python file. How do we call this? Let's say test test.py. So this is a name, of course, you can use the name you want. We say test. Dot, just test and then Python file. Here we can type our code. So let's say that this is with Keras. Let's say that we want to import Keras from TensorFlow import Keras. And we can run test.py. We we want to run out this Python file, test.py, that we see right here. How do we run this one, this specific file? We click with the right button of the mouse on test.py and we click on run test. You can do this also with a shortcut. We, we press Control Shift uh, F10 and it's going to run. So you will see here the output that we get. Of course, we're getting some error because I haven't installed the libraries yet. We're going to see how to do that right now. Uh, no module name, TensorFlow. So uh, to use Keras, we need to install TensorFlow. So TensorFlow is the framework from Google. Keras is an API that works on top of TensorFlow. 
So to install Keras, we just can install TensorFlow. So I'm going on File, Settings, Project, and the name of the project. So Computer Vision Keras, then Python Interpreter. It might seem quite verbose and quite complex because each time you see, like you see a lot of settings, a lot of things, but don't worry, it's very simple because this is what from PyCharm we will use like 90% of the time. So once you know these few steps on PyCharm, that's the, the most that you will need to know to build projects with PyCharm. So you know most everything that is necessary to build project with PyCharm. So don't worry about this right now. On Project Interpreter, we have our Python and all the packages that we have installed on Python right here. So we have just pip and setup tools because we don't have anything else. And I recommended PyCharm because it makes so simple to install new libraries. So if we want to install TensorFlow, instead of using like uh, some command prompt or just looking for what command do we need to install TensorFlow, we just click on plus right here and we have a list of library that we can look for and install we look for tensorflow we have just tensorflow right here and we can also space we can just install the package but also we can specify a version if we want an older version uh, I recommend to use the version 2.9.1 because it's the one that I'm using right now. So if it's 2.9.1, if you don't see that, just look for the version on the list. Uh, if you see newer version, I don't recommend to use them because the code might work somehow different than this one with some upgrades. So see with 2.9.1 and then install package. Uh, this operation is going to take a few minutes. You will see the progress right here. We see on the bottom bar installing package TensorFlow equals equals 2.9.1. Uh, uh, we need to wait this to finish. When this is finished, we will see some message. So I'm going to wait for that. Uh, this is the message I meant. Package TensorFlow installed successfully. You will see that right here. Now let's go with OpenCV. We look on the search bar for OpenCV-Python. OpenCV-Python uh, uh, right here. Again, let's specify the version 4.6.0.66. In order to make sure that if there are some major upgrades, updates, the code will not break. So just follow the exact same version I have and you will be sure that you will not encounter errors. OpenCV was installed successfully. Now it's the moment to try our libraries. So Python, uh, TensorFlow and OpenCV are mostly the two libraries that we will need uh, for this course right here and to build most of our projects and of course we installed just two libraries tensorflow and opencv but uh, there are so many dependencies which this library needs that are installed automatically as you can see now the list is quite being in comparison as it was before so we don't not only have keras tensorflow and opencv but we have a lot of other libraries that you see right here Let's now test this one. From TensorFlow import Keras, to make sure that we have the right version and installed correctly, we just print Keras dot underscore underscore version. And we are going to run this one. So let's run test. And we see 2.9.0. Now let's do the same for OpenCV. To load OpenCV, we need to say import CV2. Let's also print uh, cv2 underscore underscore version. Uh, at this point, you have the libraries Keras and OpenCV correctly installed. And we are now ready to run. Uh, we see Keras 2.9.0, uh, OpenCV 4.6.0. At this point, we have 
the library is ready to run and we can build our competition projects. We can build our convolutional neural networks with Keras, everything, our environment, it's ready. As you can see, it didn't take that long to install this. Now it can be very clean, very organized, and we can build our projects. This is all for the first video. See you in the next video of this series.